Welcome back everyone, Questine here with more Age of Empires 4. France and Chaos 1364, a storm of disorder threatened France's survival. The king's authority would have to be enforced over invaders and peasants alike. The walls of Paris held out against the English onslaught. England's King Edward and the Black Prince abandoned the siege. They marched towards Chartres to try their luck at conquering a less formidable target. But before they could attack, a violent storm hit the army. killing a thousand English soldiers in a tempest of hail and freezing winds. To Edward, this Black Monday disaster seemed like divine retribution. A sign that it was time to stop waging war and make peace with France's King Jean. But even as peace between kings was reached, the people of France were still living in bloodshed and turmoil. Between 1358 and 1370, France was in chaos. Peasant uprisings, rampaging bands of mercenaries, and civil war ravaged the country. Peasants rose in rebellion, killing their lords and wreaking havoc. Mercenary bands also roamed the land. Known as Routier, they had once been hired by the English to fight against the French, but were cut loose when peace was reached. They systematically ravaged and pillaged towns across France. And with King Jean prisoner in England, his son Charles the Dauphin faced homegrown attacks on his rule by powerful French lords, beset from all sides. The Dauphin's forces had to regain control over their own country. All right, France in chaos, 1358, 1370. Taking the throne in 1364, the Dauphin became King Charles V of France, facing threat, threats from peasants, mercenaries, and invaders. The first test of his power would be to bring control to a realm in disorder. All right, let's begin. Sen River Valley, 1364. Having only recently been crowned King of France, Charles V dispatched his army to the French-held village of Evreux to forge order from chaos. All right. From here, the army would move to extinguish three major threats. Bands of roving mercenaries harrying the countryside, a peasant uprising, and attacks from a rival for the French crown, Charles of Navarre. The French army would start by reclaiming the rebel-held villages of Cocherel, Jouy, and Coissy. All right. Let's see about getting some sheep. 
with me. Out of so we have a gate that's Kursa, been. Oh yeah, uh, oh yeah. As the French army struggled to regain control of the countryside, they were struck by a band of English routiers. These mercenaries had been cut loose by the English army and were plundering the countryside in order to make a living. The French forces eliminated the routier attack. But more were still raiding the countryside in search of provisions and riches. Okay. The routier demanded payment from the French, or they would continue their horrifying raids. We got some sheep here that we want to take. So I'm gonna get better spearmen. Uh, you should use the outposts here because you are gonna be attacked by large numbers of units that are just plain better than what you have. And those outposts are gonna be the only option you have to really hold them in check. You need to get an army to take these villagers. In particular, particular one of the things I learned is that the only gold is here right now. So that's my only option there. Several outposts should be enough to hold them back the ruthless along with uh, spearmen and yeah, regular archers. The problem is they have veteran horses. I'm gonna get one last one. All right, so those four buildings should be enough to hold the line against the enemy attacks. They're gonna throw horsemen and uh, spearmen against me. Eventually, I think they start throwing men at arms. I've tried this mission twice already. It was not a fun experience. It's not fun when you have a mission like this. It's like, oh, you don't have any gold. Good luck. And then me starts out much stronger than you are. Always a joy, really. Let's get survival techniques. Retourne 
Bravo. Et chez les mains de main. And that happens, because of course it fucking does. And I lose all my villagers there, unfortunately. I was rather hoping they wouldn't do that. Alright, there's some deer up there, all the same. While I keep getting these farms up. There's some boar there, but I'm not really equipped to tackle them. I'm gonna get a blacksmith. There's some animals that we have there. Escolte bene. Tuts o come. Io ma sono la cose. O me o meglio. Just getting more. Non è spaitis. Vado da pura. So I need an army to take the villages. Tuts o dite. Cosa sarà una sonata? While well, I also Oh, 
Mais parade, in avant, Darkier. We need more wood. Let's get that wood capacity there. In taking the village of Shui, the French army was closer to stemming the peasant rebellion and regaining control. Alright, so that's the first of the villages. The central monastery town of Cocherel would continue to send out rebel attack parties to weaken the French army. Okay, I'm gonna get all of those lovely archers. Alright, send all of these guys to help defend the settlement there. So I need the gold mines. Nothing else really the matters. The village of Kwasi, rich in gold deposits, was a crucial town for the French to reclaim. The most important one. Because without it, I can't get the knights. Without knights, I can't win. You get the idea. Quoi de labour? Mais quoi de labour? Prate terra. 
Bene, bene. Veniez, Servientes. Parates, servientes. Parates, servientes. In avance. Momente. Parate. Momente si, Arquier. Si. Entendo. Parat, movo. Homes, obedio. In ayuda. Ambulance. Si. The French army defeated the rebels at Kwasi and took control of the gold-rich village. The central monastery town of Cocherel was still under the control of rebel peasants. The French army would have to take it before they could launch an assault yeah. on Charles of Navarre. Well, let's get uh, various upgrades now. So that's only one gold mine, but it's going to be enough for me to get my feet on the ground, so to speak. Quit me. Okay. Gonna send these guys over here to help out. I'm building a larger and larger army. Now, I really am curious if there is any gold somewhere else, well, beyond this. Uh... All right, they're burning the farms. There is the problem. Now we can't take these sacred sites, unfortunately. It would be a nice solid addition of gold, but I don't have the capability right now of... Uh, Of training monks, that's the problem. So we need to take the town there in the center, but first we want to deal with the Ruthias. Okay. And now... Parat 
We're gonna get knights. The expected happened. Root is man at arms. I can deal with them, that's not gonna be the issue, but it's just gonna be really annoying. Alright, so they're gonna get the DR there. We wanna deal with these guys, eliminate them, take them out of the picture. Because otherwise, if I don't, they're just gonna start sending swarms of men at arms right now. And royal knights. These are feudal knights. They're not regular knights, and they're fighting regular men at arms. So they're fighting castle age. All these ruthiers are castle age units, and we can pay them. I have the gold, actually. They are over here, by the way. Alright, let's get... All back. The French discovered the Routier hidden camp and could put an end to the English raids if they could destroy the camp. All back. They have fucking knights. What the hell? It's like these guys have fucking everything. Oh, 
Well, that's going to be a very lovely situation. With the Routier camp destroyed, mercenary attacks were no longer a threat. Yeah, but we ran out of gold. <laughs> Okay, there's some gold here, I think. Yeah. Send the scout here because we need to see if we can find any more gold. Escort 
Fate bene. Equites attendenti si. Si va bien. Prépare l'audience. Va débarquer. Non ne pouvez auditer. Okay, they've uh, exhausted all of the boar. See? Wait, wait, wait. We don't need to destroy the... The French army took control of the rebel villages and the peasant uprising was subdued. All right, so the but French to keep control over the region, they would need to defend its center of influence, the monastery at Cocherel. Northeast of Cocherel, Charles of Navarre's army had established a fortified camp. The King of Navarre sought to make himself ruler of France as well. He intended to press his claim by destroying the newly arrived royal forces. Well, we'll see about that, I guess. Oh, me faut trahir. Que fait Ah, si tu es obéis. Besoin y a fait. Lors batige ce sti. Soyez prêts pour votre service. Dictez-moi mon Versailles. Presse portraire. J'ai l'arc. J'y vais. 
Alright, we're getting upgrades. Pushing up the hillside, the French discovered Charles of Navarre's camp. His front line had the high ground and was made up entirely of archers. The French would have to think carefully about how to approach the stronghold. Think carefully, he says. I'll think carefully when I bring in mangonels and springolds to bust his ass. And that's what I'm gonna do. I don't need less many woodworkers. Okay, you're getting on my damn nerves now. Bien 
Alright, that was the last of my gold. So we got uh, veteran archers. We're gonna need to get rid of some workers. Because he's got way too much uh, stuff. Crap. Should have expected it to be uh, fortified. Yeah, direct uh, assault on that position is just gonna kill me. Well, we got two relics. That's the good, uh, the good news. We're gonna Sur 
On Janvos Atondan. Ça, try it soon. You can get a sweet. On Jans is nasty. Let's bring a young boy to the Okay. So his army is something. Did I genuinely lose all that? Okay. Cheval's monastery came under attack. If it fell, the French would lose control over the region. Getting more men. Attendez, let's come. Avant, soit averti, c'est votre courage. Compagnie. A chest mess. Obey your commandments. Archer, en la way. En de l'estre. Soyez. Compagnon. Attendez, let's commandments. Ayez cur, aux commandements. Advertence to the monde. Oui, da. Veille de bouer à parmer. Si comme le volet. Le feu. Le retaillet pose à moi. Bien, vous. Well, he's very slow taking a nice stroll, I feel like. Que faut-il donc besoin? Veille de moi besoin.
Que faut il donc besoin Je Au vais rentrer. Obsière, gardez de votre. Oyez, Beichi, commandement. Avant, si besoin. Avant, j'ai ce comme il va. Archère, archère, allons le primant. Archer, Archer, allons, Archer, Acte en continent. Oyez, bien, compagnon, je gagne mon gagne. Le point de je commande. Right, we dealt with all of those. Fall back to many. Okay, his army is defeated. Just had to take my time, bide my time, slowly push with archers and cavalry. The French army had repelled Charles of Navarre, stemmed the revolt, and held back the raids of the Routier. In the struggle for control over France's lands, the king still clung to power. Alright, victory. Even in periods of truce, France suffered raiding and pillaging. Mercenary companies and individual soldiers recruited across Europe and then dismissed without having gained enough booty would go about taking what they wished from the population. In the 1360s, more than 15,000 of these routiers were looting and pillaging across the kingdom, going so far as besieging Avignon to extract a ransom from the Pope. When King John went, sent his armies against the most feared mercenary group, uh, they crushed the overstretched royal forces. Even the Pope calling a crusade against the brigands failed to stop their pre predations. Only by paying off these predators and sending them off to fight, uh, sending them to fight wars abroad, was France finally rid of them long enough to regain its strength. <laughs> they crushed the royal army. Okay, <laughs> that's fun. A war horse was no ordinary horse. In battle, it was a knight's comrade in arms. By nature, horses are prey animals, but the war horse had to become a predator. They had to be aggressive and fearless, to charge enemy lines and to trample anyone in their way. To achieve this, they were specially bred and highly trained to fight, to lash out with their hooves on command. This meant war horses were expensive and so conveyed high status. War horses were incredibly strong and powerful, but they were also vulnerable. This is a really big target, and it's much easier to shoot a horse than it is to hit its rider. So just as men wore armor, horses wore armor too. A knight didn't ride his war horse on the road to battle. It was far too valuable. Instead, they were led by the knight's groom. A knight would take multiple war horses on campaign, as he would need to change to a fresh horse several times during battle. Once geared up, the knight his horse and his weapons became a highly effective system. The heavy cavalry lance had a small ring called a graper, and this locks into my arm 
forming a hard linkage so that the lance can't shoot backwards on impact. The war saddle was also crucial. With its high back, it locked the rider to the horse. This means with the graper and the saddle, horse, man, and weapon are all locked together to create one giant horse-powered projectile. The main purpose of heavy cavalry was to charge straight into the enemy and smash through their lines. The impact charge crashed into an enemy with terrifying force. It required horses with exceptional courage and power. Yeah, knights. The French army subdued the many threats and Charles uh, V's fragile power was restored. Okay, so that was <laughs> difficult because of the very limited resource. Not because of the enemy itself, rather the resource is just being so damn limited. No gold, no market, nothing like that. Having to fight for it, yeah, very difficult. Anyway, Costinier says stay tuned for more. Signing off and I'll see you next time.